And because they stayed long, the father Jacob said, come here, Joseph, let me send you to check on your brothers to see what happened. When they saw him coming afar off, they said, the dreamer comes. Let us kill him. Some plan to kill him, of course. But in the midst, there was somebody who wanted to defend him and had a plan. You know, people will plot against you. But God's plan will always come to fruition. When Joseph came near, they laid hold on Joseph. And they stripped him of that garment. And they placed him in a pit. One of the brothers planned to come later on to release him. But the other brothers made a decision to sell their brother to strangers. They had no idea that God had a plan working on. They had a plot. But God had a plan. And friends, God has a plan for your life. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says, I have a plan for you. Plan to do you good and not evil. And to give an expected end. Even when people plan and plot against you, God's plan will always come to fruition. You can count on God. God is faithful. Yes, God is faithful. God is just. God is true. And God will come through for you. So it came that they sold their brother Joseph to some tradesmen heading from the east with spices and herbs. And they sold their brother for a few pieces of silver. And you can well imagine how Joseph must have felt betrayed, let down, sold by his own brother. But God had a plan to prosper him eventually. When Joseph got to Egypt, he was bought as a slave by Potiphar. And listen what the Bible says in verse 2. And the Lord was with Joseph. One of the, the things that is important to note, for success to come to you, for success to follow you, one of the major things that must be there is that you must have the Lord with you. When you have God with you, it is a guarantee. It is a surety. God becomes your guarantor and God will stand by you. And in the midst of being a stranger in a strange land, knowing not one person, none of his brethren, relative or family was there. But in the midst of all of that, the Lord his God was with him. And God stayed with Joseph. And God blessed Joseph. One of the main characteristics of Joseph's life was that Joseph could be trusted. And while God was with Joseph, they saw the honesty, the trustworthiness that was on Joseph's life. Potiphar saw it. His wife saw it. That this man, Joseph, had the qualities to make it. Joseph was a good administrator. And when you have God to guide you and to lead you, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord and he shall direct your path. You allow God to lead you. Allow God to direct you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And watch God work for you. Even when you are planted in a strange place. In a desert place. A place where you are a stranger. God can cause you to stand out from the rest. God can do great wonders and miracles in your life. Joseph served faithfully. To those who were in charge, those who were his superior, Joseph recognized that he was a stranger, but yet he obeyed those who were set over him. 
not knowing what God's plan was for his life. He knew he had the dream, but he had no idea how God would turn it around. Success, prosperity will come to you when you put God first and you submit and surrender to the will of God. Watch God work it out. It is proven. It is a biblical fact. God will stand with you, by you, and for you. No matter how dark the night gets, no matter how dry your desert might become, it doesn't matter who might turn their backs on you, abandon you, forsake you, call you all kind of names, sold you out. But yet, because God is there with you and you carry a promise, the God that we serve, a covenant keeping God, a God who stands by his promises that are here and amen, he will never fail you. You can trust God. You can prosper where you are placed when you faithfully serve God and serve those who are there as a witness that wherever you are, you are a shining light. You, you bring a glorious testimony to the God that you serve. Yes, Joseph's life was a testimony. His humility, his honesty, his trustworthiness, these were ingredients for the young man to succeed or for any person to succeed where you are or to prosper where you're planted. God said to, to Joshua, look not to the right, not to the left, but meditate in the word day and night, and you shall have great success. Joshua 1 and verse 9. So there are ways that you can prosper, ways you can grow. God has plans for your life, and I'm sure that God wants to bless you. Even if you are sick, God's promises, they are sure. He'll be your healer. He'll be your bulwark, your strong and mighty tower. Nothing can stop God from blessing you when you remain true, when you remain faithful to God. I'm a living witness. witness. And there are many out there who can tell you that they have proven God. And I'm here to tell you that you can flourish, you can prosper, and you can succeed. Because you trust in the living God. One of the, 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 the area that was important in Joseph to prosper was that he was a very hard worker. He was not slothful in business. He was very enterprising. He knows that hard work brings success. He knows that if I put my all in it, Somebody will recognize that here is in your midst somebody who is not afraid of hard work. Remember Jesus said in John 9 that I must work the work of him who sent me while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can work. True indeed, hard work brings success. There's a saying, the heights of great men rich and kept will not attain my sudden flight. But there were the companions slept. They were toiling upward through the night. Yes, success will come through hard work. Hard work and integrity. It will outlast everything else. You can bank on God. And listen, his hard work brought promotion. He became overseer over the house of Potiphar. And was put in charge of everything that Potiphar had. Everything except his wife. The man knew that what he ate except he got it from Joseph. And nothing could change that. Because here was a young man with integrity, with standards, with principle. A young man who was on the road to becoming successful, prosperous, in one instant, yes, he was a slave. But when a turnaround came, when God decided to change all of that, 
and to make him a success. Where you are right now, it might, it might seem as if nothing is happening. Nothing, nothing going right. How can I succeed in this condition? How can I make it? Do not factor out God. Let God be the center around your life. Let God continue to direct your path, to direct your steps. Success will come when you continue to trust God. And before he was fully blessed, a test had to come, temptation. And the test came from his employer's wife who looked at him day after day and said, lie with me. But the young man had such godly moral character that would help him in years to come. He refused to give up his stand for God. He refused to deny his faith. When you stand for God, God stands for you. Am I talking to somebody tonight, today, this afternoon, wherever you are, that God wants to bless you? The test will come. But it's just to prove that you have what it takes to go further, wider, and higher in your God. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You can prosper. Joseph did it. Yes, Daniel did it. The Hebrew boys did it. Shadrach, Michigan, Abednego did it. Esther did it. And so many others. You can, I want to look at yourself today, tonight, this afternoon. Look at yourself and tell yourself that I am born for success. I am born to overcome. I am a winner. I'm a child of God. Winning is in my DNA. I refuse to be a loser. I refuse to be a quitter. And so I say to you, as I close, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and don't mess with the in-between. I pray that the Lord will bless you, strengthen you, and give you the desires of your heart as you delight yourself in him. But before you go, I want you to like, I want you to share, and I want you to subscribe to this short message that I believe has blessed you. How to succeed, how to prosper with your plan. Let the Lord plant you. You become like an oasis in a dry, barren desert. Wherever God plants you, you will succeed and you will make it. Remember to like and to share and click the button and subscribe. Thank you so much. Heaven bless you wherever you are. Prosper where you are placed.